This, this is my favorite pose. I was selected the most positive person in Finland last September. But I am more than just a happy guy. I have come come through a pretty hard journey to be this positive. It all started a few four and a half years ago. I was a professional free skier. I was filming my the best free skiing short movie I have ever seen in my life. I'm I'm sorry, but that's only my opinion about the fact. <clears throat> there was something quite miserable in that filming session, though. On the last day, the person whose turn it was to jump, the last jump, happened to me be myself. I jumped the jump, which was a hard trick, but I could do it. I had done it probably thousands of times. But this time was different. A huge blast of wind came grabbed me from behind, and I couldn't notice it, but I was going to overshoot the landing. I overshot the whole thing, landed flat to the bottom. I overrotated my trick. I, of course, crashed, broke the helmet, which saved my life though. But this was where I got into. Because of the heavy wind, the helicopter couldn't fly. It was an ambulance ride to the nearest ICU in Oulu. I arrived there approximately seven hours later. I, I got to the operating table and they released the pressure out of my brain. <clears throat> it was... It was pretty horrible for my mother and little brothers to get the call from Oulu University Hospital and the doctors could not give them very, very light news. It was a traumatic brain injury, very serious and a diffuse axonal injury. A lot of hemorrhages in my brain for the first four days. It was like 50-50 whether I would even stay alive. After that, I managed to stay alive I was in coma for about a month. I was flown down here to Turku, to my hometown, and I had graduated my upper secondary school right before I went to that filming trip. My my 
graduation party was held at the hospital, my mother gave chocolate pudding to me and I had to spit it out because I had a t tube going down my throat through which I could breathe. My grandmother and a younger brother Veiko were present as well. I, I spent the next summer in hospitals at my hometown until in August I got to the rehabilitation center. It was the best possible place for me. I started working my ass out and about a month later I talked with the doctor and it hit me. I could never continue my professional skiing career again. This was a thing I had worked towards so long. I had put so many days, countless hours. And what did I get myself to hospital? Not really nice. I was very depressed for a week. You may laugh there, but that week lasted at least three years inside my little head. It was horrible. Then at the end of that toughest week in my life, I had just one choice. I could either stay crying, no one could stop me, or I could fight back and take a look how great I would do. I could do the rest of my life. I decided to get back up. <clears throat> I decided to fight and that was what I did. I kept a smile on my face, learned how to deal with failures and that may have been a pretty hard road, but I have been really happy to endure it. We also founded this Fight Back brand with a dude named Florian Lehmann from Germany. It was in Austria, in the Austrian Free Ski Open 2010. I was there filming the competition and Florian was a guy who had heard about a similar accident in the BMX world, a career ending injury, but the patient was was founded this Stay Strong brand. And what we should found for me was fight back. I wasn't paralyzed. I could fight. We founded Fight Back. <clears throat> I was I wasn't in, in Austria just filming with 
this kind of camera. I was filming with a helmet camera. And that's because I defied all the predictions the doctors gave to me. They said I would most likely never ski again, would learn to walk fastest after two years. I learned to walk about half a year later, skied the first time after 11 months, but my first time back on skis. I'm not gonna lie to you, it was horrible. I, I wasn't any good. I, I was used to being really good of a skier, but nowadays I couldn't do anything. I still love it though. It's my favorite hobby. What was maybe the most boring thing ever in my life before was chugging, chugging long distances. I did it only to remain my condition and stay fit, but once I couldn't even walk in the hospital, I decided that because my feet are still moving, I will learn to run someday. And when I will learn it, I will run a marathon. That was... A Pretty humble, humble thing to decide from the hospital bed, I must admit. But it was probably the best decision I have ever done regarding to my physiotherapy. Not any therapist, but on my own opinion. I, I happened to announce my plan in Finnish live TV talk show and this, this running instructor Topi heard it and he decided that that Husala kid needs to be taught how to run. Topi got, got me to where I am now, running wise. We have been working a lot. And if, if the finish line of the marathon is 42.6 kilometers from where I am standing now, I'm at least 15 kilometers ahead. I have also noticed what a huge power I can give to each, give to other rehabilitants or just other people with problems. And I have been handing that peer support with the greatest pride. It's the fight back spirit. There, this guy was an ice hockey player who just happened to crash and got completely paralyzed at first, then now his arms work a bit. But I am so proud that 
I could get him to throw the fist up with me. And on that other picture, there is some, some kid girls at some ice hockey match last year. It's not what has happened. It's, it's all about what happens now and what will happen tomorrow. Thank you all for listening this. <clears throat>